Last Friday, the former attorney general of Mexico was arrested in connection with the violent abduction and likely massacre of 43 students from Ayotzinapa, Mexico, back in 2014. These students had commandeered a bus and they were part of a movement of students that were getting ready to travel in just a few days to Mexico City to join protests commemorating the students who were massacred in 1968 in the lead up to the 1968 Olympics in Mexico. It is very significant that the former attorney general was arrested and we will be covering this development and, and the greater meaning of it at revcom.us. So please be checking the website. But today we really want to emphasize how important it has been that the families of these 43 students, that other students across Mexico and a movement around the world has continued to keep the memory of these 43 alive and to continue to demand justice. This movement has included a number of very significant artists from different parts of the world and in particular from Mexico. And we're very happy to invite now as our next guest, one of these artists who made, a, at the time, a beautiful song, El Desafiante, will show you the video um, after this interview. Miles Soleil is the lead singer of Outer National. We're very happy to welcome him back to the RNL, the Revolution Nothing Less show. Miles, welcome. Thank you, Sonny. Very glad to be here. Thanks for having me on. And I just watched uh, El Desafiante, the video that we made again, and I'm very appreciative that you guys are sharing it. Yeah, we're going to show the video right after the interview, but it'd be good if you could talk some about what moved you to do this song in the first place. Yeah, well, you know, as you mentioned, in 2014 and 2015, there was a big upsurge throughout Mexico. There's these 43 courageous uh, um, student protesters. I believe they were in a teacher's college, in other words, studying themselves to be teachers, to teach the next generation. And they were from the state of Guerrero um, in a, a town called Oitzinapa. And as you were saying, they were, they, they were going to get these buses to then go up to Mexico City, the FA, to um, join the protests that commemorate the massacre that happened in 1968 during the Olympics that happened in Mexico, which also was the same Olympics that, um, you know, the Black Power salute, um, you know, uh, very momentous at the height of the revolutionary absurd of the, ninth, of, of ninth, of the 1960s. So when this was happening in that year, 2014, 2015, you know, our group, Outer National, we actually, besides paying the fuck attention, we also, you know, we had been connected with, and I believe we were even in, like definitely in Colombia and it, oh, we were in Mexico a bunch. We had this record called Todos Somos Ilegales. We were all illegals. And so we were touring over there. And naturally, you know, I meet people and talk to people. And this was, you know, different society, different time, different situation, but analogous to like what happened with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor when they were murdered by the police here in the United States in 2020. It was a society wide upsurge. Um, and particularly with the president at that time, Peña Nieto, who was part of the PRI ruling party, which had been like the kind of, you know how like the upsurge to George Floyd was like about this just tar horrible thing, but it also concentrated so much, including Trump and just everything that was going on. The Oitzinapa situation with these 43 students being disappeared was very similar to that, in my opinion that it, 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 at least in, from my perspective, what I could see what was going on in the sense that it was, um, it, it, it encapsulated a lot of the horror of what Mex so many people in Mexico um, lived through. The fucking parallel state of the narcos, you know, these big, you know, drug mafias that are kind of integrated or part of, or just parallel to the main state in the tens of thousands of disappearances and um, just the gangsterism of, you know, Mexican society, the police, federales, the military. And so it captured a lot. And then, as you mentioned, the, the, the outrage and perseverance, mm -hmm. which was very inspiring to people of the families of these 43 students who were disappeared. But as everyone knows, were, you know, brutally assassinated and murdered by the state or whomever. Yeah, you know, one of the things in the song uh, that I really appreciate was that it commemorates the 43, but it also, it, it captures that spirit of defiance. El Desafiante, it's actually the defiant one, and I think that's really important. It's a fighting song in its own way, and it's very internationalist. Um, 
And it's striking as well, the, the different voices, the different influences artistically and, and different artists from actually from Mexico and the U.S. I wonder if you could talk some about who got involved and how that came together as well. The violins you hear on the song mm -hmm. is the Villalobos brothers. The voices on the chorus, I mean, that's me singing, of course, Jesse Williams from Outer National, but a lot of that power to voices come from the Villalobos brothers. Um, maestros on the violins, they're actually doing some interesting shit now. They're like collaborating with symphonies across the United States. Um, a few of the other, also like a few, the percussion and the horns were played by uh, 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 Panteon Rococo which is a kind of a legendary Mexican band, um, the Paco, the, tr the trombone player, and then the percussion player. Um, so it was like a lot of outer national, it was a real collaboration. And then I worked with, we were, work we were doing a lot of stuff in, in Jalisco, Guadalajara. It's like the second biggest city, I think, or second or third after Monterrey um, in Mexico. And um, I worked with this film company called Cobra Films, who came together to direct and so, like, if you watch the video, which you guys are about to see, like a lot of that footage of the protests throughout Mexico was, is, was footage that that film company, Cobra Films, and, you know, young independent filmmakers based in Guadalajara that they had shot in the course of that upsurge. You know what I mean? Think of, like, imagine making a music video in the, in the months after the protests in the United States around George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, all the Black Lives Matter. It was like that kind of climate there. And so they 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 brought that in there. There was an artist Mexican in Connecticut who did those portraits of the 43 students that you mm -hmm. see um, in the in the in the it was a, it's like, as you say, it was a real collaboration. There's 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 a couple dozen outer national friends, fans, dancers, people from Colombia, United States, Mexico, New Jersey who are up in there. I mean, it was a it was a. I have to always give shout out. This was actually the first collaboration with Mark Bankston, who was a producer and engineer based in upstate New York. We he, he recorded a lot of this. Um, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a, I mean, in all art, it's, you know, in all endeavor, it's a real, you know, collaboration. But this one especially, it was like, a, you know, I mean, and then just all the fucking crazy ideas I had, you know, and I was learning how to use Pro Tools. So it was a very conv <laughs> convoluted uh, crazy process but i think it you know it came out um well it was a beautiful it's a beautiful song it's a very powerful video i will note one of our oh, national yeah, yeah. fans that's right <laughs> i mean i love the song i love the song it's a very moving song and it was very inspiring at the time i i want to share it now is there anything else you want to say before we we let it run i appreciate you guys sharing this i hope it spreads further and for those that are watching here on revolution nothing less show um, we'll keep watching and sharing it. And also we got a lot of cool outer national stuff coming up. We're really, you know, we appreciate the support and, um, you know, from you guys playing America, goddamn and other stuff over the years. And so, um, yes, yeah, stay tuned. We're coming up. All right. Excellent. We'll have you back in the future about that. Thank you. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care, Maz. Bye bye. <laughs>
to kill They'll make a sacrifice to take our lives, you know